Get to know which smartphones are finally getting gingerbread love this week. Images of a Samsung Galaxy S2 with a slide out keyboard on AT&T draw excitement. And what Android smartphones will disappoint with delays in being released? All this and more coming up right now. Hello everyone, I'm Jaime Rivera with PocketNow.com and welcome to our first ever Android Revolution. The show we tell you what's hot and what's not inside the world of Google's Android project. As always, let's start this week off with what's hot. Android is all about smartphone releases, so it's only fair that we cover as many as we can here. As of this week, the Sprint Motorola Photon 4G is available online just before it's sold in stores for the typical price with a two-year contract. And if you're interested in a Droid 3 from Verizon but want it with some GSM flavor to work on your AT&T network and don't mind sparing the 600 bucks to get it unlocked, Negri Electronics has it on sale, so head on over if you're interested. So which phones are finally getting gingerbread as of this week? Well, the aging Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 is finally getting it. Motorola Droids X2, T-Mobile's G2, and the G2X with some fixes on resetting issues. As expected, that also includes some love for the UK version of the HTC Desire Z, which is pretty much the same phone. Even the old HTC Desire is included on the list, but it seems that HTC recommends that only experts do the update, and we're still not sure why. On the side of updates and fixes, Sprint's Nexus S 4G just just got an update which fixes issues with 4G and the built-in NFC transceiver so you might want to have a look at it and well tell us about the updates if everything went well. Out of the phones that we're currently reviewing and you should look out for, we have Adam Lang's videos on T-Mobile's MyTouch 4G slide, which offers average build quality and doesn't seem to be that good on video recording. Dan Webster is also doing us the honors of reviewing the HTC Evo 3D, which so far is doing a great job by our standards, but sadly, stay tuned for what's not hot section to learn of some issues that the Evo 3D is currently having. The web version of the Android market just got a neat update that will let you know how many times an app has been installed. It works on all apps that have been downloaded more than a thousand times and it gives you a good idea of whether people are compelled to buy an application. Hopefully this will help many of us make up our minds on buying or not buying. You might also want to hit up on the update of the Amazon App Store which is currently on version 1.15 which also includes improved search initiation, better app compatibility check and also improved customer feedback. All good updates on applications applications that you might want to download as of now. And well, ever since Google decided to ditch Yelp information on their map services, they just released version 5.8 of their Google Maps application, allowing you to upload photos of places you visit within the application. If you check in on any location and find that it's missing information on the app, it'll create information for you and allow you to feed it with information and imagery. Call this crowdsourcing on steroids, so get your update and help Google out. I mean, it seems they need help. On the rumor side, call these more confirmed rumors than rumors. Verizon seems to be the first carrier to bring the Galaxy S2 according to Samsung. It will be released as early as August 12th and we imagine the price tag and specs will be the usual suspects. Other rumors have it that Sprint is bringing a Galaxy S2 variant with built-in WiMAX and even the option of getting it in white. What's really got many of us cooking is seeing Galaxy S2 images of a variant with AT&T branding porting a slide out keyboard. No word or details just yet, but what's great is that we'll probably get it and, you know, it, we also probably will get a normal version of the Galaxy S2 that's also being rumored. Oh, and by the way, that option for getting that Galaxy S2 in white is pretty much confirmed for the UK as of mid-August. And also, if you're interested in Sprint's future roadmap, leaks have the LG Optimus Black and the Samsung M99, M930 sorry, being released on October 2nd. So, those are pretty late. Probably you'd want to get some Galaxy S2s instead of waiting for those. Okay, so that does it for what's hot. Let's start with what's not. So, some of us were waiting for the LG Thrill 4G to make it to AT&T soon, but reports have it that it'll be delayed, and we still don't know why. No explanations and no possible release dates. Aside from that, well, those of us who've been waiting for the Droid Bionic to make some Verizon appearance this 4th of August might be disappointed because some Motorola XX are saying that no, it won't be released until early September with no particular reasons why or specific release dates. So, sadly, that's it for the delays and nothing we can do about them just yet. 
Speaking of the Evo 3D, Vodafone UK has just ditched plans on releasing the phone because of apparent delays on its release or manufacturing. Not sure how this could ever happen to Champ HTC or why it is, but sadly, those of you who were waiting for it to make it to Vodafone in the UK or to get it somewhere else, well, sadly, you're just going to have to wait or get it somewhere else. Sad news. And well, Virgin Mobile just barely got their hands on Android's Motorola Triumph rocking last year's Froyo, and customers are already complaining about having issues with blinking pixels on the screen. The phone is freezing at times, and even autofocus options are not working properly. Surely you get what you paid for for 300 bucks free off a contract because you're getting it prepaid, but still, you should at least get what you're paying for, and well, not really sure what Motorola is gonna do about it, because Virgin Mobile hasn't really said anything about it just yet. Sad news. That's it for today's show. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Jaime Rivera. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now.